Amanda and today I am here to start a new reaction to a new limited series on Netflix that I don't actually right now, I haven't heard how you pronounce it, so I'm just going to call it School for Girls because I don't want to mispronounce the name, but it's a limited series and it's about three of my favorite things, girls, revenge, and girls getting revenge on the people that wronged them. So I'm really excited to start it. It looks very interesting and cool and I love that it's only like six episodes so it'll be a really hopefully quick kind of little mystery thing and yeah I really like the Netflix shows in particular that they do that are the international shows. Elite obviously I didn't love the last season but like is one of my favorites and then there's a few others that I've really enjoyed watching so I'm excited to see this one. What the fuck was that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who is it? I'm trying to see them running away. Three or two people running away? Oh my gosh. What a way to start the show. Is she dead? <laughs> Did you just introduce me to a character that dies? Oh no, she's alive. Okay. She don't look good though. Jeez. Yeah, I can see why. That's fair. See, this is what I saw in the trailer. This kind of interrogation scene thing was giving me major, like, elite feels. Her kind? What does that mean? Um, because someone almost died and we gotta make sure that you're telling the truth. Yeah, why did they do that to her? That's the guy I didn't even consider that, because there really doesn't seem to be a good reason to do that, right? Two weeks earlier. Alright, here we go. We're gonna figure out what happened. I wonder if it's gonna be told like Elite where it's like those two weeks are gonna be what we're building up to and then the interrogation scenes will be spliced in between because that's always been one of my favorite parts of Elite. I think that's so cool to splice like the future and the interrogations into like the past and seeing how we got to where we are now from where we started. <laughs> Did that actually work? No one saw her get off the bus that would like was a teacher or a bus person or anything? Well, she sees, so we're already starting to see the conflict, I guess, of what happened. Where are you gonna go now? This is so weird. You just snuck off the bus. Why didn't you just not get on the bus in the first place? Is it because the teacher was there so they keep track? Because I don't think in my high school, I mean, this ain't US high school, but my high school, my bus driver would not have known if I was there or not. I didn't even know my name. Oh, she went to see a guy? That's like the only thing worse you could be ditching for is a guy. Oh my gosh, if she gets caught. This is the first time meeting? No wonder she's uncomfortable. She don't know you, dude. She's in high school, sir, and I don't think you are since you're not in school, so if we could just dial it back, that'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> I'm in love with her whole vibe. It's amazing. The piercing, the hair, ugh. The leather jacket, oh my gosh. What a styling girl, especially considering everyone is in the same outfit. Maybe I'm just deprived of like different outfits. So I'm like, oh my gosh, someone else. Something other than a school uniform. Look at that gym teacher's ponytail. Is that Paul Gill? Because my gosh, it's like already up here, like Ariana Grande style. So like down, it's gonna go down like past her hips. They get their own uniforms just for gym class? That's dope. This must be an expansive school. Oh! Why'd she grab her wrist? <laughs> she got hit in the chest. She's like, oh! Oh, I think she's covering, like, her chest. Her Okay, that makes more sense. Wait a second. That would hurt more if your chest is flat, because you've got less protection there. Like... If anything, that logic does not make sense. That's like if someone had a flat butt. It's gonna hurt more if they get hit in their flat butt that they don't have any butt cheeks to, like, protect it. I like how they're picking on her for having no boobs and the actresses literally look like they have the same size boobs. <laughs> <laughs> look how different she looks now. She looks, like, so innocent, contrite. Like, what, whatever could the problem be? No, don't tell them it's a concern. Dang, I hate when grown-ups do this when they're like, oh, it's don't worry, it was just someone in your class. That, like, you're not helping the situation. You should just be like, it doesn't matter. We have our ways. You really think you were going to get away with it and leave everything out because, like, she's going to retaliate against whoever she thinks it is so bad. 
How does this lady even know about it? You're not involved. You weren't on the bus, were you? Or was she the lady on the bus? Maybe. Who's her father? Is he like a politician or something? He's obviously got a lot of money. Is everything in the school pink? Like, don't get me wrong. I love pink, but I just like... I've never seen an embrace so much in a school. <laughs> oh no, look how pissed she is. This is why we don't say concern class. Oh, the bathroom's pink too. I, Guys, I could have wrote it. Then the janitor's still in there and she's like, nah, you can stay. You didn't manage to sort it out. You got lucky that she knows that your dad would ruin the school. This one's my favorite out of the group so far. She's so funny. And this one is not. You need to calm down, girl. She goes from like zero to angry very quickly. Damn, isn't that the stall where the janitor is? Not that you should be kicking stalls anyway, but damn. Uh-oh, this is when it all goes down. <gasps> Look at them come up like boom, boom, boom. So it's gonna be the first episode this happens. Okay, interesting. I thought they were gonna build it up to the last, like, six. Don't push her back, that's just gonna make her more mad. I mean, I would also, but... <gasps> A slap? Oh my gosh. Jeez, how far away is this from the school that no one sees this? Also, how did they get her out there? They sent her, like, a random text? Did they steal her friend's phone so to make it look like she's from the friend? Jeez Louise, she's like a little mobster. What the heck? <gasps> oh, geez, seeing it again is like just awful. I mean, they could have killed her. They easily could have killed her. Like, they're very lucky she did not die. Oh, look at the blood. The fact that they don't even like go to get anyone, like that other girl found her, I think shows like that they don't care. They just didn't want to get in trouble. Because, like, she could have died. Very. That's, like, literally what happened in Elite, was that, like, because Polo didn't go to tell someone, she died. Like, they could have saved her had he, like, gone faster. Or at all. <laughs> so she must have found her pretty quick, or else she, like, really would have died. Like, literally. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you should turn the text right over and be like, Um, sir, I think this might have something to do with your investigation. Oh, so she was, like, right there, that's how. And she didn't step in? She was just letting them get beat up? I mean, I guess she is a teenage girl. What can you really, you know? What is she doing back there? Was she, like, scoping the perimeter for anyone? So is she supposed to be, like, the nice one of the group? Because I feel like everyone else would have been, like, dragged her out there and beat her up themselves, and this girl was just like, get away. You don't see anything. Jeez, they really just left her passed out on the- it looks so bad. Like, even if you didn't mean to, like, do that, like, hit her with a rock, you're like, the guilt then comes from, like, not owning up to it and just being like, bye! Thank goodness she was there, and that quick. Why is she saying she didn't see them? And why does that lady look happy about it? Like, she's like, yes, that's exactly what we rehearsed, thank you. Do you think that lady knows that, like, well, who else would do it, right? She has to put two and two together, that, like, this girl came and told me that Leanne was snitching, or ditching, I rhymed the two, and then <laughs> Leanne attacked the girl that told on her, like, the head ma master, mistress, head, what, what's her official title at a private school? Whatever she is, she has to know. <laughs> Who's that? Is that her mom next to Nope who's like, excuse me, Nope, do not get involved in this? Damn. That was literally terrible. Like, I'm disgusted with what I just watched. And the fact that, like, it all got turned around now, so, like, Miriam's the one in trouble is so fucked up. Oh. The dad picked the mom. Oh, that would piss me off. It's like, you, that's your daughter. Like, stand by your daughter and believe her when she's telling you. I know she's like, a whole room of girls said that, like, it's true, but it's like, okay, so whose value, like, whose opinion do you value most, a group of strangers, or, like, your daughter who's sitting there crying, begging you to listen to her? Damn, I'm, like, pissed, because, like, this, like, is, like, her school's ruined, her friends, she doesn't have any friends anymore, because they all, like, don't want to associate with her, her whole life is wrecked, like, over something that she didn't even do, you know? Her room's a mess. I mean, on top of small things, but, like, that's kind of your sanctuary, you know, like, your private space, and it's been invaded. Just to wear that ugly neck brace. <laughs> no, no. 
all these problems are just adding up. <gasps> she looks so pissed. Oh my gosh. This is where the revenge plan begins. You pushed her too far. <gasps> She's taking a neck brace off. I told you guys. She's like, I don't need to jump thing. I want them to see my scars. Oof, she looks tough. She looks like how Leanne looked, like, walking over to go beat her up. I mean, I don't blame her. Like, she wasn't even naming them. Like, you couldn't have just been happy that, like, she didn't rat you out and that Nof didn't rat you out and just, like, you could have just sat there and ate your salad and been happy. But no, you had to push it too far. And now she's coming after you, and I don't even blame her. I don't know why I'm going to Jersey all of a sudden, but it's because I'm upset. Like, the way they pushed that at the end was just, like, first of all, it's, like, such a culture thing because, like, any other, like, if that was in America, like, yeah, it would suck if your parents were, like, homophobic or something, but, like, it wouldn't be, like, I feel like the taboo thing that is there, whereas I feel like everyone there is like, oh my god, like, what? This is, no, like, this is not appropriate, and I feel like that's, like, a culture thing, so, like, that's even harder for me to watch, knowing that, like, there's nothing wrong if, like, she was into girls, you know, but, like, they're treating it like, oh my gosh, like, our, she's disgraced us, but, like, I know that's a culture thing, so, like, I'm putting that aside. It's just the fact of, like, adding insult to literal injury of Leanne being, like, no, this is, like, what happened, I had to defend myself, blah, blah, which, how far did you have to defend yourself, right? Like, if I'm the investigator, I'm like, that girl's beat up to shite. <laughs> and, like, can't you tell from, like, injuries, like, if she was attacked from behind her? I don't know. It's just so weird to me. But I think they're trying to show that, like, Leanne and her group get the benefit of the doubt because of whoever her dad is or whatever. And, like, I feel like the headmistress totally knew that it was them. Like, the way she was happy when Miriam was like, I don't know who it was. I didn't see anything. Like, she was smiling. I feel like she knows it was them. But she's got to get control over these girls because you cannot let teenage girls go. You can't let teenagers in general, but teenage girls especially go unchecked. They're going to come for you next, girl. Because, like, they're just going to start escalating the more they realize that they can get away with. And this was a pretty big thing to get away with. So I'm really excited to see the next episode and how the revenge plot is going to start and all that. And if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Also make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!